Hello Ports of Praise, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing two egg butter cake. So come on, let's go. So the first thing that we're going to do is to weigh and measure our ingredients. So I'm going to start with the creaming of the butter and the sugar. So here I have already prepared two cups of sugar. Now this is brown sugar, you could also use granulated sugar. And I also have our margarine. You can also use gold seal margarine if you have that at home. So I'm going to be using two cups of butter. And because it is soft, it can be done quite easily like this or another easy way of doing it is that there are four ounces in this margarine so all of it can be used okay so what you're going to do next you are going to Cream the butter and the sugar until it is light and fluffy. margarine will give it a very nice flavor and you can use your spoon to remove anything that is on the side and then you go ahead until everything is thoroughly mixed and the mixture is light and fluffy. So as you mix the sugar grains, they will break up eventually and give you a nice creamy looking mixture.
Okay, so what you're going to do next, now that we have our mixture nice and creamy, so here it is. What you're going to do next, you're going to add the vanilla and the eggs to the mixture that we have here. Now for the, now for the egg, you're going to break one at a time in a separate container before you put it in the sugar mixture that we have here. And you do that just in case you have any that is spoiled, you can quickly discard of it before it spoils the mixture that you have. So this is our second one. So we're using four because we doubled the recipe. Okay, so you're now going to add your vanilla, one teaspoon vanilla, you're going to add to the mixture. There goes our vanilla. If you had like um, lemon extract that can also go in it as it will help to improve the flavor. And then you're going to mix. Now don't worry if you see it um, looking all curdled. When you add the flour, when you add the flour, then it will take care of all of that. Now, what you're going to do next, you should have prepared your sifted flour with your baking powder, your baking powder as well as salt, and you can also add cinnamon if you wish. So I did not add the baking powder just yet, so I'm going to do that now. and then you are going to stir so you combine everything so this is basically a plain cake that you are making now you can add flavoring if you wish so we are going to put away the mixer for now and you are going to now combine the flour with the egg mixture then you're going to use the spoon you could you could also use a wooden spoon but if you have a metal spoon that's perfectly fine and you're going to cut and fold cut and fold We're going to add the rest. So 
I'm just going to use the mixer to help speed it up. Okay, so we're going to add our milk. Do what I want to do done properly. So you can also add flavoring. I have strawberry flavoring that I'm going to add. So you can use like a teaspoon of that. to mix too much because if you do we are going to have some large holes when the cake is finished. We don't want to mix for very long. Okay so this is it it is now ready for the oven. Then we have the egg forming. So it is now ready for the oven. So I have, so I have right here a cake tin. This is six inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add. So I have already greased it. So I'm just going to dust it with some flour. So you grease it with oil. You can use regular cooking oil or melted butter to grease. And then you're going to dust it with some flour. So you make sure that the bottom of the pan you ensure that the bottom of the pan is thoroughly done as well as the sides. And we do this to prevent it from sticking to the bottom. So instead of you fighting to get it out, when the cake is finished, it will come out much easier. And there you go. So that's it. So we're 
so we're going to we're going to fill it halfway so leave space because you know that it is going to rise just to take a bit more to take into consideration the size of the pan because if the pan is too small and you put too much and it is going to rise and have a peak when it is done So next, what you're going to do, you're going to put it in the oven and we're going to bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to do that just now. But you should also ensure that the oven is preheated because if you put it in the cold oven, it is not going to rise properly. Okay, so we're now going to put them in and allow them to bake and I'll see you soon.